morning. Checking my stove pipe up there to see if the smoke is coming out clear or if there's just clear heat coming out. Welcome to the farm vlog today, guys. Welcome to the farm. Today, we've got a lot going on. We'll go in the shop here, I'll show you. So we've been working on getting our apples all uh, chopped up. These are our two bins of apples. And if you haven't seen that video already, there should be a link up there. If I haven't posted it, then stay tuned. We're taking this apple chopper right here, chopping up all these apples and putting it into carboys to make apple cider vinegar, apple cider, and possibly some apple brandy. Pretty cool. We're gonna get in the $100 truck here, and we're gonna ride over the other side of the farm. I have a uh, excavator, well, excuse me, and a loader over here. The guy that clears the land, is over here on the other side of the farm and he is working his butt off. So let's go over here. We're gonna get some drone footage at the end of the video. So stick around, we'll walk you through what we're doing from the air. I think it'll give you a whole lot better perspective on what we're doing here. Let's uh, get the $100 truck here. Just got a load of wood up with the $100 truck. Nice. It's starting to sprinkle rain. We just can't get enough rain this year it seems. Pop the brake here. Little different format on today's vlog. Just running and gunning today. I want to show you what we've got going on before it starts pouring down rain and he has to stop working and I have to go get lunch. <laughs> so let's cruise on over here. Remember, all this was forest, all beside of us. All this was woods. We just cleared this last year. We went through the same process that we're going through over here drive out the gate little sprinkles of rain not too fun let's stop right here and we'll talk about what's going on up here we had some washing issues and some gullies right here so we'll talk a little bit more about it as we get in the drone it's a whole lot easier to see in the drone but you'll get a little perspective from the ground we just flattened out some areas right here pretty much turn the wipers on no intermittent wiper on a 78 Ford pickup. <laughs> there we go. So what you can see out here is land that we cleared in the springtime and we planted grass seed and the grass seed dried up and died. It looks just like weed heaven. We have about 200 yards on the blacktop here and we'll get over to the other side of the farm. So the pond is right here. I'm gonna whip the camera around. The pond is right here, and we'll get a better perspective here in just a second of what we're doing at the pond. As you can see right there, a little spot. Let's get pulled in here. It's really wet. This is a two-wheel drive truck, but you know, older two-wheel drive trucks are a little bit different than new two-wheel drive trucks. These older trucks are heavy. They don't get stuck. So what we've got going right here is what you can't see right above the pond here was an area that was really really rough and I couldn't get the tractor in to mow it it was too steep and what we've got to do we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disc up all this with a very large disc and reseed it at some point hope you guys like this kind of thing if you're new to the farm vlog Pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. You can follow this journey that we're going through right here. So this is where we're gonna be building our house, our permanent house. Right now we're living in a mobile home till we get our land paid for and we're gonna save up a lot of money and try and build our house without going into debt, which would be super duper awesome. But we're over in the big hay field right now. This is about uh, 30, 35 acre hay field, something like that. So the house is over here. Right down here is where we're gonna be building our permanent home. And we've got some pasture that we're clearing off right now back here. Hey, little bouncy. We'll make everybody sick. All right, let's get out of here and show you what's going on. So he's out here working, that's a Caterpillar 963. He is out here pushing up stumps, clearing up the land. And right back here, where that brush pile is, is where our house is gonna be. $100 truck is looking good, guys. If you haven't seen the video, this is the truck we bought for 100 bucks. Looking good and running good. So here's why we're building here. Where this brush pile is is where the house is gonna be. The land slopes off. 
in every direction. So something we've learned, something I've learned here is don't build your house on a hill if you can help it. And always think water, water, water. You want to get water away from your home, away from your foundation. So the better draining soil and the faster you can get water to shed off, the better off you'll be. So build your house on a knoll and let that water fall away from it. Up here, and you'll see on the drone footage, is another hillside that we're going to be clearing off in the next year or two. And uh, over the next few days, over the next few vlogs, we'll get you progress of all the stuff that's going on back over here. And this corner of the field will fly over all this when we get done talking. Um, over in that field is another area that he's going to clear in this go around. So in other words, we're probably going to spend somewhere in the neighborhood of three to five thousand dollars to get a few more places cleared out. He's stumping right now, digging out the stumps. Let's get the drone. I'll fly you around and I'll show you how we're planning all this out. Well, let's take off right from the front porch here. This just is an awesome perspective of your farm. Uh, if you guys are thinking about getting a drone, I recommend this DJI Mavic Pro. I'll post a link down in the video description. I think there's a link in every video. I just, I'm really impressed with this thing. So what we're doing, we're flying from the front porch over to the pond. We just passed an area of planted pines. They're about 10 inches tall right now. This little spot right here was a rough spot that I just could not get into with the tractor without getting tipsy. It was soft, it was rocky, it was rough. So we smoothed that out. And right there is a guy's truck that's parked. To the right of the, of the blacktop road is 40 acres that we own. And this is our largest field, somewhere in the neighborhood of 35 acres. When we get done, when it's all said and done, it should be somewhere in the neighborhood of like 42 acres. We're going to fly over across here, and you can see my hay bales out in the field. It's been really, really wet. So we're going to fly straight across, and this is going to be a little bit of a long aerial tour, but I think it's fun and beautiful and fun to enjoy. So there's an area right here that's kind of gully washed directly in front of us and it's a cut over meaning the trees have been cut in this area and we're going to clear that we're going to stump that down to the right the green grass is a little bottom and we're getting ready to cross another bottom you can see the sand in the bottom and the, there's a tree down and some brush piles pretty significant creek right there we crossed over the creek this is 24 acres or 24 25 acres across the creek that we've replanted in pines and we'll revisit that at some point my property line is basically where the trees start on the uh, right this is where the waterfall our stony ridge waterfall is to the right and where we're going to build the house is just directly up top of the screen from where uh, the bulldozer is and you can see i say bulldozer but it's a caterpillar 963 loader you can see a little brush pile up there above him. So he's clearing out. He's already got about a half an acre cleared and there's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of two or two and a half acres right here that he's gonna be pushing off. What you can't see is that there's an elevation drop right here of about a hundred feet. So it's kind of a hillside right here. We'll get some close ups here. We'll get in here with this 963 and show you what's going on. You see a few trees that I left. The tree on the right side is a beech tree and this is a white oak tree that we're coming up on kind of to the center right of your screen. So right now we cut the timber somewhere in the neighborhood of a year and a half, close to two years ago I guess. And the stumps have, have had time to rot off in the ground. And it's making it a whole lot easier for him to clear. He's really, really moving. He's done all this, and it's not even lunchtime yet. So he's, he's boogieing down. Really, today, he only got to work about six hours out of an eight-hour day. It just started raining, maybe even five hours. Very impressed with the speed. Uh, this 963 loader... Uh, he's charging me $100 an hour to be out here, so you think it's 600 bucks for the day, uh, for today, basically, and 800 bucks per day for, uh, for every day, and this guy can move. Now, that 963 is a little bit less desirable than what the 953 is. So the 963 requires a low-boy tractor trailer to move it, 
and a 953 you can move it with a dump truck and a smaller trailer so you can pick up a 963 cheaper than a 953 you can see the creek right here is another cut over directly in front of us and we'll be able to see from our house uh, when we build our permanent home we'll be able to see straight up through here this will all be pasture land all the way up through all the way to the very tip top and at the top acre uh, it gets really steep and rocky and we replanted pines right there but we cut all the timber on here and we left a few select trees right in the middle that's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 acres maybe 20 acres of cleared pasture and you can see this uh, bubbled out area I guess of pasture it looks like a there's an extra dark green area there kind of in the in the distance and you can see two stripes in that field that's where the clover hopper got clogged up so that field's extra green because it's extra clover. We learned a bit of a lesson when we went to Polyface Farm in Swope, Virginia. It's Joel Salatin's farm. We got out of the car and we sp spoke about how green it is and why his farm's greener than the rest of the farms. And I looked down at the grass and I was like, well, it's full of clover. Clover fixes nitrogen. Nitrogen makes stuff green. So we planted a lot of clover in with our fescue grass when we replanted. We're cruising over the goats right now. That's the Premier One fencing, that uh, movable netting, electric netting. And we put the goats in right here. This is our old corn patch, and we let them eat the corn down, let them kind of go to it and put down some good old butt fertilizer for us. So goats will eat anything. They'll, they'll just chow these weeds down, and we'll throw some hay into them pretty soon. We'll start feeding them hay, all that hay that's out in the field. The goats, it's like 15 goats, and they'll eat one round bale which weighs close to a thousand pounds they'll eat that in about a week trees are pretty they're changing color right now i'm giving you a perspective right now of the front yard and you can see this land was cleared last fall and you see how much uh, brighter green color it is than the field across the way. Well the field across the way didn't get any fertilizer last year and the field right here underneath us did. So there's a grand perspective of the pond. We own, uh, you see the blacktop road on the other side of the pond, we own 40 acres there. So that's it. We're gonna come back in. It's so interesting to take a drone and fly around and see what's going on. So I can launch this thing from the front porch. If I hear gunshots on the other side of the farm, I can investigate. Um, I can. You're not supposed to bother wildlife, but I can fly up in the air and see if there are deer out in my fields or where they might be. It's pretty interesting. So we'll bring it in here. We're gonna get on the ground. So guys, I hope you learned a little bit about what's going on here on the farm, all the plans for the farm. There are just a lot of plans in the future and you just don't have the finances to throw money at things. I mean, we're spending a lot of money here. We're spending, basically, this is our Christmas gift to each other is having a little bit more cleared land. So we'll probably have in the neighborhood of five or six more acres of cleared land. We'll probably spend somewhere in the neighborhood of $5,000 getting this land cleared off. It'll be cool. It'll be well worth it. You know, pass on a legacy to our kids and our grandkids and if we ever have kids. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Be sure to pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed this little fun vlog. We'll show you some fires here soon. All right? Woo! Oh. <laughs> yeah, baby. guys are wondering why all these hay bales are still sitting out here it's because it's been so wet I'm afraid I'm gonna rut up my fields getting up the hay bales so they'll be all right they'll sit out there just fine hopefully I'll get them sold <laughs> light them up baby <laughs>